Round one of the Subaru National MTV Series began at the Mount Buller Ski Resort. The series showcases Australia's best cross-country and downhill riders in the All-Mountain and Gravity Cups. Heading into stage two of the All-Mountain Cup, it was talk rider Catherine O'Shea holding a narrow lead over series defending champion Jenny King and target trek rider Peter Mullins. Women's cross country course consisted of six laps around Mount Buller, with pre race favourite King dominating the early part of the race before suffering a mechanical. Mullins took full advantage of her teammate's misfortune, breaking away from her chases. The 24-year-old held on for a convincing solo win over Natalie Schneider and Tori Thomas. In the men's cross country, it was elimination bronze medalist Andrew Fallows who held the general classification lead. The elite men's classification contested the steep descents and challenging mountain climbs over seven laps. However, it was six-time cross-country national champion Chris Jongerwood who revelled in the conditions, creating a two-and-a-half-minute advantage on the field. 19-year-old Jack Haig led the chase to Jongerwood from Sean Lewis, with a pair unaware of the leader's mechanical issues suffered in the final lap. He's kicking it in. Chris Jongerwood wins the first round of the series. Haig held on for second place over Sean Lewis. The winner of round one of the Subaru Australian Mountain Bike Series Cross Country Olympic Race, Chris Jongleroy. Uh, it's been a bit of a break uh, from the top step, so I'm um, hoping to continue this, uh, this, um, yeah, this style. So, uh, yeah, great ride by uh, Jack and uh, Sean. Um, yeah, it was a it was an awesome course. It's great to see it back up on uh, on the top here. So um, yeah, it was a great job by the organisers. It was a bit of a sprint to the uh, a bit of a running sprint to the uh, finish. So um, I was just happy in the end to hold off Jack. <laughs> The 2010 and 11 junior world champion Troy Brosnan sat out the first round as he recovers from a training injury. But we put him to work previewing Buller's downhill course. We're here at the first national round at Mount Buller. Uh, it's got a pretty technical section here at the start with some rocks and it's really key to uh, keep smooth and kind of, you know, you don't really want to get a flat here at the, the first five metres in the track and afterwards you come into this tight wooded section and it's just it's key to hold some speed and stay smooth. We just made it into the first tight section of the wooden area and there's a lot of trees and it's pretty blown out here so it's gonna make for some pretty tight racing, I think. So here at the famous wool ride at Mount Buller, it's uh, pretty blown out right now and chopped up, but you know you can try and get up real high and then drop off real low so you can get ready for this next sharp corner and then after this sharp corner you gotta a long sprint to the finish line, so it's pretty slippery. And all right, we're here at the bottom of the track. It's uh, been pretty rough and blown out today. And it's uh, you know, by the time you get down here, you've got no arms left. You can't really brake or pedal, and 
you're hitting probably the fastest speed that you've uh, conquered on the track so far. And yeah, it's just a uh, last dash, dash effort to the end of the finish line to try and get that win. In the Subaru Gravity Cup, it was a tough, shifting and dusty course which greeted competitors for round one in the series. 2004 cross-country Olympian Lisa Matheson showed her liking for downhill as she took third in the elite women's race. For former Canadian downhill champion Claire Bouchard, it was her first race since breaking her collarbone two months ago. Bouchard completed the course a little over nine seconds faster than Matheson to claim second. But it was Caroline Buchanan who shocked her rivals to take the win, finishing the final run a massive 10 seconds faster than her seeding time in 4 minutes 6.42. The 2012 London BMX Olympian was ecstatic with her comeback to downhill after four years away from the sport. It's been a big sort of four years since I quit downhill and went in focused on the four cross and then went to the Olympics for BMX. It was definitely a different atmosphere and a different sort of lifestyle of living. So. It's nice to sort of chill out a bit, have this year that I can have a bit of me time, do what I want to do and get back to downhill, which is what I love. The men's elite race was exceptionally tight, with senior debutante Connor Fearon posting a time of 3 minutes 24.08 to claim third spot. That was bettered by two seconds by Victorian Chris Covery on a course he felt had been made tougher by the previous day's practice runs. That left five-time world champion Sam Hill, who posted the fastest seating time to ride for the win. And he duly did, 1.66 seconds ahead of Covery. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty tough track today. It's real loose and uh, dusty. A lot of big holes and uh, not much room for mistakes. So, uh, yeah, it's easy to hit holes and get hung up and lose speed. And felt like I was doing that the whole way. And the last 10 riders are going to be the main competition and the track's not going to change much for that so yeah after that big race so, uh, yeah first race of the year feeling yeah, a bit of pressure and uh, yeah it's good uh good to win In the general classification, Sam Hill leads the Gravity Cup rankings from Chris Kovarek, while Caroline Buchanan heads the women's class from Claire Butcher. In the All Mountain Cup, Chris Jongerwood leads the field from Jack Haig. On the women's side, Peter Mullins holds the leader's jersey, heading into round two of the Subaru National Series, heading to Threadbow on February 8th. <laughs> 